Well, hello everybody. Hello everybody, Seth here. Uh, we are making fireweed tea. And so I'm just gonna show you kind of the process of what we've started. We have gone and we have harvested um, three bags of the fireweed leaves. So that's really exciting. And now we're gonna get ready to make fireweed tea. It's a bit of a process, fairly simple, but there's a few little things that you need to know. Um, so we're just gonna go through those things right now. Uh, once you've picked the leaves, you are wanting them to be flexible. So I'll show you, you don't want them to be the other way. You want them to be flexible so that you can take them in your hand. I'm gonna show you how we roll them here. You take them in your hand and you're just gonna roll them together. And what you've done is you've bruised the leaf. And then what that does is when we go and add them into here, this is a pre-batch done. What this is gonna do is actually, you can see there's some condensation building up in there. Maybe, maybe you can't see it, I don't know. But this is the, the bruised leaves and we close the lid on these and after about five, three to five days the fermentation process will have browned and blackened these and then we'll dry them. So that's an important, that's a really important part of making this tea. So there's something to watch out for I want to show you real quick. Um, see if you can snap, if you can snap the leaf, let's get that focus, get that focus. if it snaps like that, can you hear that? You can see that, the stem of the leaf here. It's, it's still too green, so we have to wilt them. So that's what we're doing right now. I've got them out here uh, from my bags, my harvesting bags, and we're gonna lay them out on the back, back out here and let them wilt, so I'll show you that. So basically what we're gonna do is just empty the bag and spread them out um, just for the afternoon, really. And uh, this also gives us a chance to kind of sort through the leaves and see if there's any diseased or gross looking ones. So we'll just leave those out for now. And that will, uh, those will wilt. And then when they're nice and wilty, like this, like I said, nice and flexible, we can roll them and then we'll, we'll store them. But for now, we will let these wilt and then we'll bring them back in. So you see here, we have a couple parts of the fireweed plant. We've got the flowers and the buds. And we've got the leaves. We're using the leaves to make the tea. We do not want to take and break the plant uh, just to get the leaves because that removes all the flowers and the buds. And, the bees and the butterflies and the ants, all sorts of creatures love that nectar. We don't want to do that. So what we want to do is a technique. Now, I have taken this one out of the garden, but I'm going to show you the technique. You place your, your thumb and your index finger on the stalk. Man, chickens are noisy, eh? And what you do is just run down the stalk, and that will take all the leaves off. And now you have all your leaves, and you leave your fireweed plant intact. So around our house you see a lot of fireweed plants like this, they're kind of naked. Um, but it leaves all the flowers and the buds for the bees and the butterflies and all that fun stuff. All right, guys, so here is the drying fireweed after it's been fermented. And so what you're looking for is kind of a darkish color, like you'll see this stuff here, right here. This is kind of the color you're looking for, like a dark, um, almost brown, black color. I've got a mix of some more intact leaves that are a little more green. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put these in the oven and we're going to toast them. But we'll show you that next. This is after you've fermented them. You want to dry them. I like to naturally dry them. And then sometimes, I dry, and then we'll finish them off in the oven, which I'll show you in a second. All right, that's all the dry fireweed. We're going to leave that in the oven on 350 until it's kind of, you know, a lot darker brown. I don't really know. I don't really have a time. You can say like seven minutes, but I I just kind of go by look. So when it looks kind of brown and toastier, we will uh, we'll take it out. After a failed attempt at trying to go to the lake after our berry picking, we decided to come home. And uh, after getting rained on, waiting up the storm that never passed, we're gonna relax, warm up with some fireweed tea, and show you what the finished product looks like and why you should really be thinking about making fireweed tea. Yo, 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 